another smite build video i am your host shuey let's go ahead and dive right into it uh ladies and gentlemen it has been a while since i've actually done a build video and there's good reasoning behind that um the main reason being that it is now season three and there are humongous changes like monumental changes going from season two to season three and i really didn't want to put out builds that would just be completely obsolete within a couple weeks so I wanted to wait and just kind of feed you guys gameplays until now where I can throw out some uh, builds and some gameplays. Also, these are not going to be double videos. It's not going to be gameplay and video and build in the same video anymore. Um, it kind of limits the amount of stuff I can put out. So like if I can't the life of me get a, like an on her gameplay, then I wouldn't be able to put out an on her build. So I'm just going to do the build and the gameplay separately. So that way I'm not limited to what I can play. And I, I like if I don't feel like playing it on her, but I need an on her gameplay. I'm not forced to try to get that. I can just throw the build out there, let you guys build it how you want, and so on and so forth. We're going to quit rambling on about stupid stuff and things that I need to explain. And we're going to go ahead and dive into the build, which is the top tier hunter in this meta, I do believe, in my personal opinion, which is Chiron, the great teacher. Now, he is absolutely phenomenal, guys. He is so strong, and I probably try to play him as many times as I possibly can in leagues. Um, we're going to go over his abilities just right quick. You have training exercise, which is a ground target location. It uh, pretty much is just a little time and explosive. It caps out at 270 plus 80% of your physical power and has a cripple duration of one second. So pretty solid. Masterful shot, or also known as the never miss, which is when you hit with a basic or with the centurious, which is your ult, it puts a mark on a target. And the duration lasts for 3.5 seconds. And you can just tap your two and it will pretty much hit them no matter what. It caps out at 195 plus 70% of your physical power. And it has a 25% slow for two seconds. You have Giddy Up, which is the dash. Chiron gallops forward, damaging enemies, knocking up minions and kicking enemy guys behind him. Chiron may fire basics while charging. And the damage is not really the main part of this. It's mainly the kickback and the being able to shoot while running. It's uh, very, very helpful for closing the gap on the targets getting away. Or also, if you're using like the Sobek Chiron combo, they can flip to you and then you can kick them back even further away from their support. Get that distance in between and then make it a 1v1 and a 1v1. So it's very, very strong for duo lane. Um, his ultimate, which is Centurus, which is pretty much you turn into a constellation and you fire super long range shots. You have three shots. These shots do apply the Masterful Shot mark. And they do a decent amount of damage. The main thing that to remember too as well is when you're in Centurious, if you die while in it, but then you get a kill, the damage you dealt with your ultimate will actually revive you from death and give you the health that is equal to the damage that you dealt. Um, his passive is Herbal Medicine. Every 12 seconds you collect a herb and you release an herb that does healing. It does more healing per stack, which is capped out at 3. And every time you use an ability, it releases one of the herbs and it heals the closest ally with the lowest health, which includes yourself. So it's for instance, a self heal or a clerical ability esque type thing. It's not really a dependable way to get health, but it's nice and it helps out really early game on. Um, ability builder, I'm really not going to go into that. I'm sorry. If you use ability builder, uh, pretty much do the ground constellation first to masterful shot to giddy up to your ultimate when you can level it up. That's pretty much the only thing I'm going to go into on that one. The main thing that we're here for is the, actually the item builder. Now, for starters, I know a lot of people are like, oh, we got to do this and this and this and this. It's super crazy. There's so many new items in Season 3. Chiron's build for the beginning has not changed whatsoever. Not even close. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go into power and go all the way down to, you guys guessed it, the good old dependable Transcendence Tier 2, which gives you 20 physical power, 150 mana, and 4 MP5. And then, of course, you got your healing pots. And, of course, you got your mana pots. going to be three of each of those. And then the first item you're actually going to grab is Transcendence. If you don't know what it does, it is 35 physical power, 300 mana, and 6 MP5. You permanently gain 15 mana per stack and 5 stacks for a god kill, 1 for a minion. Caps out at 50. Additionally, 3% of your mana is converted to physical power. As you can tell, it pretty much makes you to where you can hit more often and hit harder. Really, really, really good. I love Transcendence. It's huge staple in Season 2, huge staple in Season 3. Um, second item, obviously, is going to be Warrior Tabby. 40 physical power and 18% movement speed. you got to have them boots. He's got four feet 
least cover two of them, guys. All right, and then the third item is actually a new thing. It's not really new to Season 3, but is a new stepped-up item to Season 3, I guess. It, it's better in Season 3 now. And uh, especially since Soul Eater got nerfed. Well, it didn't really get nerfed, but its ability got changed, and it's really bad now. And I hate it because I loved Soul Eater. That extra bulk was really nice. But uh, it's actually a Psy, which gives you 15 physical life steal, 20% attack speed, and 15 physical pen. If your health drops below 35%, you gain an additional 25% physical life steal for 5 seconds. Can occur only every 15 seconds. So it's very, very helpful if you're in a cinch and you really need to like win a boxing match. This will actually give you that one up if the other person does not have a side. The attack speed and physical pen are really, really helpful early game as well. And uh, it's just overall a really good item. It's probably the best life steal underneath dev gloves. But we're not going to double stack on Chiron. That's just crazy bonkers nonsense. Nobody wants to hear that. But next item actually is another staple that is a little new to Season 3. You didn't really see these built too often on ADCs, but we are actually going to be rocking with Kin Size, which gives you 40 physical power and 15% attack speed. On basic attack kicks, deal physical damage equal to 4% of the target's maximum health. This only affects gods. Now, this doesn't really sound like too much, but you will absolutely notice the difference in your damage. You will hit a tank and just see it just shred down to bare minimum or nothing. Like, you will absolutely wreck their lives. And, I mean, if you don't really like it that much, you can go with crit. But with rage getting nerfed, crit is not really a staple for ADCs anymore, guys. I'm sorry. It's true. I know there's a lot of people that love crit. I was a pretty big fan of crit. I'm a more of a fan of Season 3 meta for ADCs. I absolutely love it. It's no longer a dice roll anymore. It's all about boxing skill, and it's fantastic. Um, the fourth item that we are actually going to build is actually a preference of mine. Which is Oboe, which Gmaster636, you guys already always know he is my support. He gave me the idea. I was trying to figure out what I could fit in my force. But he says, hey, why don't you try Oboe? The proc would be really good for um, kin size. It helps a lot. The power from trans will really, really hurt on that lightning. And then the 40% attack speed is just going to be insane. You'll hit super fast, hit super hard, and you'll get those pokes. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. And it's absolutely amazing, guys. It's so, so good. It's amazing, and you just, you hit so fast, and the lightning trigger will just proc so hard, and it's just, it's insane. You, like, you'll see the damage just roll off these guys, and you won't even really have to do anything. You can land a couple hits on minions, and then just arc the lightning to them, and you'll just see them just get absolutely shredded from nothing. And then the last item is a little bit of a toss-up. You do have some alternatives. I like to main Titan's Bane just for the 33% physical pen. It's just, it's too good, guys. It's it's amazing, especially with the oboe and the kin size. You shred everything, and nothing really stands in your way as long as you can land your shots. So that's what I main. There are some others that you can throw in there depending on what you're going against. So we'll go ahead and give you the lowdown on that. Um, secondary item I would do for this would actually be Brawler's Beat Stick. And this is only if you're going to be going against... An Aphrodite or a Hell or a Gwen Yu support or that's about it, honestly. Like, that's really about it. Um, but yeah, it's really, really helpful to counter those. Or if you're um, late game, because this is going to be super late game. So if they have a Hell from solo lane coming over or an Aphrodite mid or an Aphrodite solo lane or whatever like that, it's really, really helpful to use. But if you actually really don't like the pen and you want to see them big pop-up crit numbers, there's another item you can use as well. It's actually a brand new item to the game this season. It's called Wind Demon, which gives you 40 physical power and 20% critical strike chance. Your critical hits are now now also reduce healing on enemies by 40% for 3 seconds. It's pretty much every single crit applies a weakening curse without the slow. And it's very, very, very effective if you can land multiple shots. And since you're going to be firing so fast, you're probably going to be triggering a lot of critical hits. So I definitely recommend you use this. I used this a couple times with Weakening Curse combined, and it was just absurd. A hell could not even do anything or even think about escaping me. Uh, we'll go ahead and talk about Relics. Relics replaced Actives in Season 3. You get one at level 1 and one at level 12. The level 1 item you should get should always be Purification. Absolutely always. It removes CC and gives you CC immunity for a certain amount of time. And then I believe it gives you, like, resistance or something like that. I don't know. Some crazy nonsense. But pretty much it gets you out of any harm's way that involves CC. Next one is a bit dependent on what you prefer. 
I I prefer sanctuary or meditation. Now some people prefer things other than those, but if I mean it's it's up to you. I, I don't really care. I like sanctuary a lot. It helps out if you're going against like Poseidon mids and they come on gank you and try to do the kraken. If you see the whirlpool, you just pop that from the sanctuary. You know the kraken's coming next and you're gonna live through it. Um, meditation is if you're oh sorry about that. Oh, whoa 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 whoa. Okay, that works too. Um. But meditation is like very very helpful if you're having uh like difficulty sustaining in your lane but once you hit 12 uh, the meditation is really really helpful and it's actually really helpful in a pinch as well because it no longer just gives you um mana it now gives you and anyone around you health and it's really good like it's like an instant pot so it can help you get out of some sticky situations help your support a little bit because they're sometimes really hurting on mana they have to spend money on wards instead of pots it's kind of a way to give back to your support. I know we preached meditation for the longest time. And now we can preach it again, ladies and gentlemen. We can preach it again. Meditation all the way, guys. Meditation all the way. Make sure if your support buys meditation, do not buy meditation. That's redundant and stupid. And don't do it by weakening or sprint. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for the Chiron build. We'll go ahead like always and we will throw on everything so you can see the overall stats. Which is 267 on a basic attack. Not including the oboe and the kin size. We have 185 physical power, not including the transcendent stacks. We have 1.97 attack speed, which is insanity, almost hard capped out. 15 life steal, which does not include the 35% health proc. The 15 physical penetration, which doesn't include the Titan's Bane. Zero crit, we got 68 physical and 48 magical protection. 1960 health with 19 HP 5, 448 movement speed, 0% CDR, 1325 mana, and 18 MP 5. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up for me. Because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Also, if you have any concerns, comments, or anything like that about this build, comment those down below. Let me know what you think about Season 3 as well. I'm very interested to see what you guys think about the new meta. Um, for the first little bit of Season 3, I'm probably only going to be doing ADC builds. Maybe a couple jungles. And then later on, I'll probably work with G Master and get some support builds out there. And maybe talk to a couple solo laners I play with and see about maybe getting some solo builds out there. But I want to make sure I bring you guys the most accurate and most credible information I could possibly bring you. So yeah, that is pretty much it for me, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Peace!